kids podcast. <laughs> you can go slow. A kids podcast about. Hello, listeners. I'm popping into your podcast feed with this bonus episode today, July 4th, 2021, because there's something that made the news that I think we should talk about. Last Friday, July 2nd, FINA, the International Swimming Federation that oversees swimming sports at the Olympics, announced that Soul Cap would not be permitted at the 2021 Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan, later this month. So first, some context. Soul Cap is a black-owned business out of Great Britain that makes swimming caps to fit over and protect dreadlocks, afros, weaves, hair extensions, braids, and thick and curly hair. Most professional swimmers wear a swimming cap to protect their hair from chlorinated water, to keep their hair relatively dry, and to reduce drag when swimming. If you swim regularly or are in a swim club, there's a great chance that you also wear a swimming cap. They're usually made from silicone, latex, or lycra, and they are made to fit snugly on your head. At this point, you might be wondering, well, what makes Soul Cap different from other caps that the International Swimming Federation wouldn't allow swimmers to wear them? And the answer is, the hair they are meant to protect. You, listener, know your hair. You know how easily or not it is to press it flat. You can probably imagine how easy or not it would be to brush, braid, or pin your hair so that it can be entirely covered snugly by a swim cap. But different people have different hair, and specifically, white people and Asian people and Hispanic and Latinx people have different hair from black people. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, yeah, Matthew, obviously our hair is different, which is good. Now I want you to consider what you do to your hair to take care of it. Beyond shampoo and conditioner, beyond brushing your hair, do you use any products to help keep your hair moisturized? Do you use protective oil? Do you get your hair styled? Do you see where I am going with this? I'm not black, but I know a little about what work my black friends do to maintain their hair. I also know that no matter how long I grow my hair or how I style it, I can easily get it to lay flat against my skull if I need to because my type of hair. And likewise, I know my black friends cannot. So... Soul Cap created a swimming cap to help protect natural hair and allow black people and other people with thick and curly hair to still swim competitively or not and still enjoy time in the pool without having to worry about the effects the pool will have on their hair. What an awesome thing, right? I bet you or some friends that you know would really be grateful to know that this product exists because regular swim caps just do not work for all hair types, period, end of story. But it's not the end of the story, because the International Swimming Federation determined that swimmers would not be permitted to wear caps made by Soul Cap at the 2021 Olympic Games. Alice Deering qualified to become the first black female swimmer to represent Team Great Britain at the Olympics. She's the co-founder of the Black Swimming Association, and she recently partnered with Soul Cap. She's a name you should commit to memory. She is a force in the pool and out. The whole world is going to be cheering her on at the end of the month. The International Swimming Federation said the caps made by Soul Cap did not fit, quote, the natural form of the head. And to their, quote, best knowledge, the athletes competing at the international events never used, neither require, caps of such size and configuration, end quote. And this is the phrase I want us to zero in on because Alice Deering is the first black female swimmer to represent Great Britain at the Olympic Games. Because in 2016, at the Rio Olympics, Simone Manuel was the first female African American to win an Olympic medal. Because in 2004, Maritza McClendon of Georgia became the first black female Olympic swimmer for the U.S. swimming team. It has taken a long time time for black girls and women who swim to see themselves represented at the Olympics. 
And as we've talked about on this show with Jelani Memory, when we talked about racism, and Jordan Theory, when we talked about systemic racism, and with many, many more guests, it's hard to see yourself succeeding at something if you have never seen someone like you succeeding at that thing. This is the opposite of inspiration. With inspiration, you see someone accomplish something and you say, hey, that person's like me in a lot of ways. Maybe that means I can accomplish what what they've accomplished. Maybe even beyond what they've accomplished, right? If you've never seen someone who looks like you in a space of success or accomplishment, it's a lot harder to envision being in that space one day. It's a barrier that stands in the way of accomplishing that goal. Many do stand against those barriers, overcome them, and become the first. But it's those barriers that can keep others from trying. Barriers such as swimming caps. The cap that protects your natural hair so that you can wear the hair that makes you feel most like you, so that you don't need to worry about a cap sliding off or having to change hairstyles so that you can wear the same cap that everyone else wears, even though they didn't need to change their hairstyle at all, so that you don't have to think, maybe this isn't a space for me, maybe this isn't a space where I can feel included, where I can show up as I am. So here's what you can do make space. Are you on a swim team? Do the swimmers all wear swimming caps? Are options available at swim stores for teammates with naturally thick and curly hair? Or are the options limited to just one or two brands that fit exactly the same way? The International Swimming Federation said that the caps made by Soul Cap do not fit, quote, the natural form of the head, end quote. But since when do all of us have the same shaped head? They said that, for all they knew, athletes, quote, never used nor require caps like what Soul Cap makes, end quote. Is that because no swimmer has ever complained about how the swimming caps didn't fit their natural hair? Is it because organizations like the International Swimming Federation have not noticed the use of specialized caps? Charnay Gordon was recently on the podcast, and she talked about diversity and inclusion. I'll add a link to her episode in the show notes, as well as to other episodes and resources that I've mentioned. But to include others in activities, we need to understand that people that are participating are different. Bodies and hair and needs are diverse. There's no one size or one swimming cap that fits all. So my purpose today was to help raise your awareness of what's going on in the world, how it might affect you and the people around you, and how you might make small steps to help make spaces more inclusive and accessible to all. It can be as simple as making sure your local swimming or sports supply store carries swimming cap options for all people. It can be as straightforward as knowing the names that inspire and show a future and possibilities to kids around the world. Remember their names? Alice Deering, Simone Manuel, Maritza McClendon. It can be as plain as seeing something wrong or unjust in the world and speaking up about it. Others will listen. Keep using your voice and your power. It's making the world a more welcoming space for everyone. All right, so here's your homework. Check out Soul Cap. See what their product looks like and how it's serving a community. I'll have a link in the show notes. And homework part two, share this story with someone else. Sharing raises awareness. Awareness can lead to action. Use your voice to share. Thanks. Thanks.